Yeah, I'm really excited. I got selected by Cycling Canada a couple of weeks ago to go to World Championships in Italy. And like I just said, I'm really excited, kind of nervous, but yeah, it's good to, it's going to be probably the biggest race of my career so far and excited to get it done against like all the world's best. So. Well, and I mean, clearly you're, you're up there too, since they selected you to, uh, to bike here, you're going to be on that top tier world list. Uh, tell me about this, this career in biking, Cole, how did this start and how have you gotten to this point? So it started when I was probably the nine or 10 there at the kids try. When I first got into cycling, I, my parents put me into it. They put me into a lot of different sports, um, but I didn't really like the swimming or the running of the triathlon, but I loved the biking part. So from there, I just kind of fell in love and was just riding for fun. Um, but these last past two years I really got into it and started training a lot more and got, really got focused so yeah uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong you're 17 right now is that right yeah I'm 17 wow. turning 18 in November so you are you're not even uh, 18 yet and you're already competing in a world's competition for biking that is absolutely such an amazing feat to reach at your age um, again what are you feeling right now? What are you doing to prepare for this uh, with just a few weeks away? So right now we're just kind of putting the final touches on the training. Uh, so like these past few months, it's been big training days, building up the endurance and everything. Uh, but nowadays it's just kind of tweaking the, the high end power and just getting the heart rate up. So that's uh, ready to perform at its peak at, at Worlds. Well, tell me about this competition, Cole. What's involved in this? Um, you know, what can you expect to be doing while you're there? So World Championships, it's like a week-long event. So the junior category goes on Thursday, which I compete in, which is 17 and 18-year-olds. And so it's a XCO format, which is cross-country Olympic. And so it's around 20 to 23 kilometers it's a four kilometer lap with about 150 meters of climbing per lap and we do about five to four laps and um, it's all out full gas about an hour five minute hour and 10 minute race and so that's my race the elite men have a short track which is kind of like f1 qualifying if you'd say for for Sunday, which they race. And then the U23 men and women go on Friday. Downhill categories go on Saturday. And then the elites go on Sunday. Fantastic. Well, it, I mean, it sounds like it's going to be quite an experience for you and um, moving on to hopefully bigger things. And speaking of which, what are your aspirations from here on moving forward? I mean, you're, you're hitting a world stage now. Are you, are you looking to that maybe Olympic team? Is that something that you would, you would want to do in the near future here? Yeah. Uh, it's, for cycling, it's kind of a, I don't know what you call it, like an older age sport. Um, so the guy that went this year from Canada, he was 26. So I'm kind of looking at 2028 20, would be my, my prime first chance to go to the Olympics. So yeah, it's a little ways away, but that's kind of what I'm looking for. Never too soon to start getting ready, right? Yeah. That's fantastic. Cole, any last words uh, you'd like to give to uh, people that are watching and, and obviously cheering you on and making sure that, hoping that you're doing well? Yeah, I'd just like to thank my, my family, my parents, and my grandparents are continuing to support me. And uh, also my sponsors, Scott, uh, Ecclestone cycle and Nielsen's bicycle and uh, also my coach who I wouldn't be here without my coach who's uh, helped me through my training and everything Andrew Watson at AWI coaching and uh, yeah just anyone else who had supported me through the GoFundMe and everything it's it's been great to see all the support through the local community.